Audio Jungle. Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to this channel once again. This is Morning News. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on the time and where you're listening to this news from. This is breaking news. You made a costly mistake, or an easy tells iPop over an Americanus release. News in details. Amidst allegations by the indigenous people of Biafra implicating top Igbo politicians in a purported scheme to hinder the release of Mazin Amdikano, the governor of Ebony State, Francis Iwifuru, has been exonerated by the Appeals Igbo Social Cultural Organization or ANISI in the Igbo. Onizi Ndigbo addressed the situation, asserting that Governor Iwifuru is not involved in any clandestine efforts to prevent the potential release of Mazinam Dikanu. The organization emphasized the governor's unwavering commitment as an Igbo political leader and his purported alignment with efforts supporting Namdi Kanu's release. Previously, IPOP had named Nwifuru among influential Igbo figures allegedly working against Namdi Kanu's release. However, the fractional Secretary General of Wanizi Ndigbo, Izuru Isi Guzoro, refuted this early, this claims deeming Iwifuru's implication a significant error. Isiguzoro's statement clarified, he said, Our attention is drawn to the indictment by IPOP that some highly placed political elites have been holding clandestine and also nocturnal meetings against the possible release of Mazinam de Kano. However, we are certain that Honorable Francis Oguna, the executive governor of Ebony State, is not involved in these plots, emphasizing a possible understanding or misidentification in IPOP's claims. Oanese underscores the innocence of Governor Iwifuru and alighted the need to absolve him from any wrongful association. The organization, while noting that they do not speak directly from the governor of Eboi, asserted their responsibility as Igbo leaders to clear the name of an innocent individual erroneously linked to the allegations. Aneze Indigo retreated Governor Iwufuru's dedication to the welfare and manage and development of Ebony State, emphasizing his recognized commitments to service and leadership within the region. The organization pledged its support to uphold Iwifuru's integrity amidst the ongoing controversy. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this news. Wow. Hmm. This is a great information. Namdi Kado will be released no matter what, with or without or an easy indigo. Or the executive of Igbos, whatever that group is, Namikano will be released no matter what. Come 15th December 2023, that will be the last reign of Namikano. And that will be the last time Namikano will come to uh, will be in detention. We spent so long in detention. Just did that will last time Namikano will even smell detention. Yes. Yes, yes, because this man is very innocent. What has he done? He has done nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It was this same boy that, that uh, um, arrested him the first time during his re re uh, regime. 
he was arrested and according to the information they said an American jumped bail in 2017. Okay, now he has he was arrested again 2021. He has made up his mind that he will not jump bail because the jumping of bail might even increase the charges. So he was so patient enough, he was so calm enough to be in that detention. But as God we have it, by the grace of God, this December 15 will be the last time Namdekan will be go to court or will be in jail or detention. He will be released by the Almighty Grace. Ruling will never be prom- be postponed again. His tri- court trial will never be postponed again. Never, never, never. And shame will be upon those that have always hated Mazin Amdekanu and what he's fighting for, that is Biafran freedom. So, viewers, what is your take on this? Your comment concerning this news will be very much appreciated. Please don't hesitate to drop them down below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button 